and welcome to a new video of mine it's been so long like i know i'm so sorry but i've been super super occupied and especially my mind and i didn't really find the time and the energy to also film so i was today like yes i'm feeling like it so why not do then a video um, for everyone who's new welcome my name is noel and i'm so happy you tuned in um, yeah, in case you don't want to miss out on any videos of mine, go and subscribe. Do some thumbs ups already because today we're gonna go and do a video about what to bring on a weekend trip. Um, yeah, and Pablo and I are really into weekend trips. We most of the time go to the beach, we go to his uh, parents' house. Every time I have to pack, and I'm like, okay, what am I gonna pack? You know, because it's so difficult, or at least for me, maybe for a lot of girls, maybe also for guys, I don't know. It's like you have a lot of nice stuff in your closet but unfortunately you cannot bring the whole closet so what are you going to bring on the weekend and especially that you don't forget anything because maybe you go and party or maybe you go and do some workout or i don't know maybe you go and swim or whatever so i wanted to go and um talk with you about this so let's go and start okay so the first step and i think it's really really important is know where you go to so find out what the kind of weather is gonna be where you go to so in my case i'm gonna go to this weekend to fuengirola i don't know if you guys can see but uh, it's quite hot let me tell you it's gonna be <sighs> around like 30 degrees so that means that it's super super summer well down where in spain and uh, I need to pack well, good summer stuff. I also know that I'm gonna go with Pablo's parents and Pablo, um, which will of course be a totally different weekend than when you go with friends. So based upon this, I already make a decision. For example, partying is not gonna happen, so I can leave my party shoes at home. <laughs> um, okay, such a dumb joke. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, before you start packing, maybe you should check the weather and second of all, know with who you go and what more or less the plans are. In case you don't have any plans, just pack, pack a little bit more. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go to the beach, uh, which means that I can of course not forget any bikinis, uh, like some clothes on top of your bikinis. Um, what else? Flip flops, really really important. And uh, for example, some sun sunscreen. Oh my god, sometimes it's so difficult to talk in English. <laughs> so, okay, I'm gonna show you some outfits which I think are gonna be really, really cute. Okay, let's start. So, um, I will start, start first with the bikini, which I have here. I'm so sorry, it's a little bit like this, but I don't have the right seating for this. Anyway, um, I want to give you like a little trick I always do um, is take a bag, either a plastic bag or um, a nice bag. Maybe you got it once with shoes or a bag. In this case, I have, for example, this bag, which is from Bimba and Lola. And I have also another one I think is from the H&M, which is like this. And I always use these bags and I prefer these ones, like the ones of uh, made out of this, how it's called, like this material than a plastic bag but it is what you have at home and uh, you can use these bags to put in all your like your lingerie or like you know like your underwear your bras your uh, bikini socks that in case you are looking for it it's all in one bag and it's not all through your bag or your suitcase so what am i gonna bring i'm gonna bring a black bikini because that never hurt no one just like this it's by the way new i bought it where did I buy it? How's this called? Oh yeah, I cannot pronounce it. Tessenis. I don't know. I don't know. It's like, I also don't really know if this is a Spanish brand or not. No idea. But um, yeah, here, really cheap uh, and nice bikinis. So that's this top with like the, yeah, just black, really, really, really simple. But I didn't have that and I wanted that. That's what we're gonna bring. And then a one, the one of H&M, which is like this. I find this one so cute. Like it looks like I have, or I think it looks like a, 
designer bikini it's not it was like really cheap maybe 20 euros i don't know and with a top like this yeah so i'm bringing two bikinis why oh wait pablo's calling give me a sec okay and we can proceed i also saw by the way that my battery is very low so let's see if they are not going to interrupt us neither um where did i left off leave off left off left off um with the bikinis so yeah put this like use this back and then just put your bikinis in here so that when you are just going through your stuff you know okay here you have everything together with your socks together with your underwear your bras whatever also like don't forget to go already through your like to see what you're gonna wear and match with this your bra you know like if you are gonna wear on friday when you leave a black bra and you're only gonna wear white stuff maybe you should consider bringing an extra one okay these are just all handy tips so this for the bikinis um there's some clothes which i have here so i thought about if you go to the beach then you also need something on top of your uh bikini so that's just an easy like dress this is by the way from the Bershka and you can like it's like a cross here so this is really easy and really light and doesn't take any space and i'm gonna just use this for two days like for saturday going to the beach and sunday like i know how terminating it is to bring a lot of stuff and to bring a bunch of things but in the end you never wear so many things or at least that's my experience so just bring one something super comfortable which is cute which fits with your bikinis and you're good to go so this goes with me into the into the back and then something more cute i'm gonna bring like in case we're gonna go for a dinner or i don't know like something i can wear in at night if we're gonna go somewhere in case we're not gonna go anywhere i can just wear pjs and that's good enough so yeah like a cute little dress and that's it and then last but not least like an outfit like for during the day like i don't know like if i'm oh oops here please okay um I don't know maybe this is for sunday during the day because of course i'm gonna go just the whole day uh on saturday to the beach so i only need my bikini uh but maybe when i go home or whatever like we're gonna have a walk on some jeans some short jeans these are levi's which i bought with my cousin second hand and i'm so happy with it i bought it in a second hand store and then with an easy top just super light everything because you know what otherwise you're gonna get a sweat attack so no and this is from the H&M and uh, yeah and then more or less you're done with clothes I always like to bring something warm yeah maybe this is like such a Dutch mentality I know probably a lot of Spanish people are like what the fuck you want to bring something hot uh, like something warm well I guess that's just me which is like a sweater which fits with the, with, the, with the dress in case I'm gonna get cold and I can also put it on top of course of the shorts in case I get cold um, and this one I bought in Tarifa this is actually the sweater of me and Pablo, but yeah. So uh, this concern and clothes, of course, don't forget your, well, your underwear and everything. I already said. And of course, if you're planning on going to work out, don't forget to bring your sports clothes. But I'm not planning on doing that. Um, what I also like to bring is because I'm not really a big fan of towels at the beach. I like more like these kind of things. Like they're not a towel, but they're like... I'm gonna look up how you call this in English because I've literally no idea. But I like this. This one is huge. You can fit here at least four people, which I also like because then you know everyone can see it and you can put a lot of stuff on top. Uh, yeah. So this concerning these kind of things, of course you have earpods you can bring, a book, and but these are just like things you need to think of yourself because maybe you're not a reader or whatever. Then let's go some other extra tips like of course do not forget if you go to the beach to bring your sunscreen But what I like the most is to bring small things or at least this is like I think super handy when packing for a weekend Because you can bring a lot of big bottles like this for example But it takes so much space and you're not gonna use the whole bottle anyway So I always or at least it's a good tip to maybe buy some small products I know that in a primer this is from a from a from a hotel like i either like to take it from the hotel or at least pablo brings them for me um or you can go to primor and they have a lot of small cute 
uh, shampoos, body lotions, whatever, like they have literally everything, even like look, this is the cutest thing ever. I think I already showed you, oh where it is, a little toothpaste, like I cannot, I'm to die for. Anyway, this, what I do with all these small goodies, I put them in a little bag, which is by the way a bag from Bimba Lola, I got it from Fado's brother and his girlfriend, so cute. Um, yeah, and I put it all in here because I don't need that much. Like, this is only for the weekend. Like, when I go on vacation, trust me, there's two suitcases full with stuff. But going only for a weekend, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, yeah, what else is interesting? Oh, this is interesting. Zara has um, already for some time a really nice perfume line. Like, they have literally the best perfume ever. So, go and check that out. Um, but... This is such an invention, like, I don't know, I didn't use it, it's new. Um, and this smell is Wonder Rose. Well, I shouldn't actually say that, otherwise everyone's gonna buy it. But this, look, it has a little bowl. I don't know if you can see it. Oh. Why is this, like, for real? I'm telling you guys the whole time I need to check, but... Okay, I don't know if you see the bowl. You more see my hands. Anyway, it has, like, a little bowl, so that means that you can roll the perfume and it's like this small you could you can put it in your um oh uh, you can put it in your uh, bag or whatever and i think it's really handy for just a weekend trip it doesn't take that much space blah -de -blah -de -blah -de -blah. i'm talking way too much um then in my case i'm bringing also this kind of stuff this is for my piercings because it's just, whoops super infected um then Something I always find really difficult to bring on a weekend trip is bags. Um, is bags. Because, I mean, this is just only two. This is also a new bag. It's from Nuno. It's the cutest thing alive. Um, look how small it is. I cannot. And I never really know what I have to bring. Because I have so many bags. Like this is black. The other one is colorful. Whatever. And then with this outfit. This... Okay, I suggest you, when you go only for the weekend, just take a black bag. Because it fits, black always fits, you know. So in this case, I only cho I'm only i going to choose between this one or this one. And then I'm going to think, like, am I going to be, like, doing something really, really fancy? Or am I going to do something more sportive? Or whatever. Well, I'm bringing the dress, which I also can combine with this. But I really feel like bringing this one now because it's new and I really want to wear it. So yeah, this bag is the only bag I'm going to bring. Okay, then my most, most difficult struggle in life is to choose shoes. Well, I already personally decided on not bring, bringing uh, sports clothes. So that is good for me because then I don't have to bring my sports shoes. I can, of course, not forget, forget the flip-flops. Wait a sec. I'm back. So we have available the Havaiana flip-flops or the... Adidas flip flops or oh, flip flop slippers, whatever they, you call them. Um, yeah, I'm of course not gonna bring them both. And I think in this case, I just feel like more bringing these because of with the, the pink dress, the pink dress, the yellow dress, they look way cuter than these big Adidas slippers. So I'm gonna pack these. Oh my god, my battery is dying. I hope not. Uh, and then, yeah, I will, as I said about the shoes. The shoes is the most difficult thing, at least for me, because I never know which uh, shoes to choose. So I would suggest to just choose one pair of shoes you're gonna wear on the day you're gonna leave, and you also wear on the day you come back. So just choose something which you like and fits with all your outfits. Uh, like more or less the same as the bag. Like choose something which is fits with everything. So uh, let me see. What is a nice pick? Okay, this is only a little bit of shoes. And then there's a little bit more here. And over there and over here and in another room. I am definitely not missing out on shoes. But I have a new favorite because it's a new one. And I didn't wear it yet. So that's what I'm gonna bring, which are these. The new Nike, I think it's the P6000, yeah guys, the sales was, so that's why I have so many new things. But I think these are gonna come with me, because I think they would be so super crazy with the orange dress. And they would also perfectly fit 
with um, the, the Levi's jeans and the top and it's just really comfortable in case we're gonna go and have a walk and I don't know like to drive I'm super happy with these shoes I'm thinking if I'm forgetting something to pack well at least make sure that you just bring one bag or one one suitcase where everything fits and yeah I hope you really like this video maybe I forgot some stuff or maybe you have some other tips I would love to know um, and yeah I hope you guys liked it don't forget to follow me on Instagram don't forget to subscribe and like and whatever leave comments like I'm so happy to hear about you guys and um, let's we're gonna see each other in a new video and I'm gonna promise to be a little bit more updated again with the videos and to do a little bit more these kind of videos because I also think that's really fun to do uh, I really need to learn though <laughs> but yeah we will see anyway guys thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you uh, in a new video